We found our way to Lebanon, Ohio, about halfway between Cincinnati and Dayton. You know, the first thing you notice hereabouts are the lot sizes. It seems that in this part of Ohio, people like their lawns big. Hi. Zebra, how are you? Good. Uh, Ron, Scott. Welcome, welcome to Lebanon, Ohio. Oh, it's a pleasure to be here. Hi, come on in. My kitchen's waiting okay, for you. Let's take a look. This is the kitchen. Um, we're just finishing up our remodeling and I'm finding this is just way too dark with all the light things that I'm trying to do in the kitchen. Why not just take these out and replace them? Um, cost is a factor at this point. We want something just for the couple of years until we can really remodel. Okay, so this is an interim thing. Right, right. just a temporary. Right. So what I'm gonna suggest is let's paint these, okay. put on some new hardware. Great. They're gonna look like new, but it'll cost you practically nothing. I think that's a good plan. Okay, Sounds all right. Good. Let's do it. Thank you. Okay guys, we're gonna to have to clean these cabinets off. This is a heavy duty cleaner, sort of a TSP-like cleaner, although this is phosphate free. Put some of that about a quarter of a cup in two gallons of warm water. So we start washing. You missed a spot. Did I miss a spot? <laughs> You're always telling me I missed a spot. <laughs> we pay special attention to the areas around the stove where grease and cooking oils are most likely to be present. We're going to take these doors down to refinish them. So I want to first let's take off the knobs and then the hinges. Are you set? All set. Ladies and gentlemen, start your drills. Let's go. Come on. With all three of us using drills fitted with screwdriver bits, the doors are off in a matter of minutes. Okay, Sabre, let's pull these drawers out here. You and Scott, just grab, pull them out, lift, lift them up, and pop them right out. Great, and stack them right over here if you would, please. Thank you very much. Once the drawers are out, we remove all the hardware. So these are clean, we've gotten the hardware off. Now we want to give these what's called a light scuff sanding. And we don't have to remove all the finish on here, just roughen this up a little bit so that the paint will have an easier time of gripping to this. Okay. Now we could sand using a medium grit sandpaper, say number 80 or 100. But today, I want to try out these sponge rubber sanding blocks because I think they'll do a great job of getting up into the corners. Next, we'll be using something called a tack cloth. And these are, as you can see, really <laughs> sticky pieces of cloth. Okay. So all you have to do is just sort of wipe this and you can see this is all the stuff that was on the surface here that this is picking up. To prime the uh, doors and drawer fronts we're going to use a very inexpensive high volume low pressure sprayer like this one right here. Very simple to use. Just want to keep the uh, the nozzle of the spray gun about uh, six or eight inches from the surface there. I'll do one. I'll give it to you guys. We start by spraying the outside edges, making sure to keep the spray nozzle a constant distance from the surface. Oh, this is going on so easy. I can do this. Next, the inside edges get painted. The interior panels are sprayed last, working from bottom to top. To keep from overspraying, I suggest that Saber take her finger off the trigger momentarily at the end of each stroke. While the primer is drying, we go back inside to start work on the cabinets. We begin by applying masking tape to cover the walls. We could spray these cabinets, but if we do that, we've got to mask everything off right here. I think it's a little bit more trouble than it's worth, okay? So we're gonna do this with brush and roller. A two inch sash brush is used to prime the edges of the cabinets where they meet the ceiling and walls. The cabinet ends can be covered quickly using a short nap three inch roller. The roller is also used to apply paint to the cabinet fronts or face frames as they're called. Those nice straight strokes, top to bottom. For hard to reach in tight areas, it's back to the brush. But for covering ground quickly, it's the roller. Once you've rolled a surface like this, come back and do what's called striking off. And that means to take your roller, begin at the top, and go all the way to the bottom, one long stroke like this. This will take out any uh, roller marks and leave you with a smooth, clean, professional looking surface. Primer's dry, so it's time to put the top coat on. We're gonna use a special cabinet and vanity paint. This one's by Valspar. The difference is that this will resist the lanolin in your fingers. because You're gonna be touching this a lot when you're opening and closing the doors. So guys, go ahead, put it on the same way you did before with the primer. Okay. Um, I'm gonna use a slightly wider roller to get these big end panels down here. This will just save us a little bit of time. Back outside, we start painting the doors and drawers using the same specially formulated cabinet and vanity paint. We thin it slightly with water so that it will flow easily through the spray gun and level properly. 
The key here is to put on enough paint to flow out evenly, but not so much that it will run or sag. As we finish each door, we set it off to the side to dry. Let's do another one. The drawers are best sprayed by setting them on end so that the faces are horizontal. Less chance of drips and runs this way. After giving the paint 24 hours to dry, we install the new knobs, reattach the hinges, which we decided to repaint, and begin replacing the doors. There we go. See, if we just, yeah, if you just hold that for me right there. Good. You got it? Got it. Okay. Get the screws in here. Finally, we reinstall the drawers. In all, the project has taken us a day and a half. Well, take a look for yourself. In this short time, we transformed this kitchen into one that's bright and cherry. I like this. Oh, the what color. What a difference, huh? The color is great. Yeah? It's You're perfect. happy? It's professional. It's exactly what we wanted. Couple hours? That was great. Couple wow. gallons of paint? Brand new kitchen. It worked great. It's you great. guys, were, you were terrific to work with. I think we deserve a toast. I think we don't get a lot of this left over. Oh, God. <laughs> there you go. This looks like to me, uh, oh, colonial cream. There we go. Okay, guys, do a great job and a great set of working partners. Right. The best. Is sound like loss or flat? Ha, 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 ha.